Hello. This is the music theory part of lesson one. Now, my ambition for you during this course is for you to be able to take a song sheet where you can see music notation written on it and to feel comfortable looking at the song sheet, finding your part and getting an idea, just looking at the musical notation, how the song sounds. Don't be frightened off by that. It's not as hard as it sounds. And during this course I want to introduce you very slowly to musical notation, the structure of music and so that you will gradually be able to pick up a song sheet and feel comfortable with it. Now today in this lesson I want to introduce you to a series of sounds that we call the major scale and this series of sounds is the main reference scale used by all Western systems of music and songwriting. And I want to introduce you to this scale by using the piano. Now why use the piano? I think that by using the piano you will understand very quickly the structure of music, musical sounds, how they are put together. And maybe, I'm hoping that by the time you finish this lesson you'll maybe even want to take up and learn the piano but I'm sure that by the end of this lesson you will at least feel much less frightened about this term musical theory and about the idea of taking up a song sheet and being able to read it. In the next lesson we will be looking at how these musical sounds are represented on a song sheet. But don't worry, we'll be going one tiny step at a time and we will be doing this in parallel with the other lessons in, the, in each module, the rhythm lesson, the song and the, the vocal technique. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the piano. So here is a piano keyboard and a piano keyboard has 88 notes on it and there are white notes and there are black notes. The notes are given names, they're alphabetic starting from A. So the very first note you see there at the bottom is the note A. Here it is. And the notes are arranged in groups of 12. The black notes are named in relation to the white notes. You'll see what I mean later. The notes are arranged in groups of 12 because really there are only 12 different notes. When you get to the 13th, the note has the same sound, except it is at a higher pitch. Now I'll demonstrate what I mean. Let me take this note here and then go up to the 13th note. There's the 13th note. If I play them together, does that sound the same to you? It does to me. You may not think so, but let me play another note and you'll see what I mean. There's something going on there, isn't there? You can feel that this note is not the same. Whereas this note like feels the same. I can do the same again.
So, the notes are arranged in groups of 12 and they are named using the alphabet. The very first note on the keyboard is given the name A and each note is a half a tone away from its neighbour. Let me demonstrate what I mean. The notes go up in what's called semitones. And this is what is called a chromatic scale. Chromatic means colour. It's like the rainbow, only musical. So it has all the colours of the musical palette. But when it comes to organising notes for musical purposes, for writing songs and music, we have to organise the notes differently. So, as we said, there are 88 notes on the piano keyboard and they're arranged in groups of 12. So let's take a closer look at one of those groups of 12 notes. <laughs> 